Hey guys, it's Rushy. How's it going? Um, we're doing how to punish. We're doing Colleen today. So I've recorded the normals and stuff there. So for normals, there isn't much you can really punish. Um, start off with sweep. It's a two hit sweep. Um, the second hit is minus 12 on hit on block. So you should be able to Let's look at max range. You see that it's a bit difficult. The first hit whiffs. Looks like the second hit has quite long range. If both hits hit. Ah, you still can't sweep. <laughs> okay. So it's another one of those sweeps where it's like Iktatsu, it's EX Tatsu or it's CA. Um, any closer of course you can punish harder, but at max range, we, we focus on max range here. Um, like Iktatsu no meter, EX Tatsu for one bar and CA if you've got full meter. So that's how to deal with the sweep. I think our overhead is next. It's minus six, so typical overhead. So there we're talking about a four frame bearish minimum. Looks like chin buster hits every time, even max range. You can get crouch and medium punch as well, so you could do stuff there. But yeah, I'd probably go for that. Okay. So yeah, um, if you're unsure, four frame, but if any any close to the max range, back medium punch uh, into, well, the chin buster combination. Um, it's one of those moves where if the later she, she lands it, the more sort of safe it can be, but it looks like the four frame's still catching her. So um, just, yeah, watch your range on the punish on that one, but it seems fairly punishable, a bit like Ryu's, so um, good one to punish. Okay, target combos. So that's minus six that. So that's light punch into medium punch. Minus six. This is light, medium, heavy. This is minus nine. Chin buster. Should get line breaker there as well. It's minus nine. And this one is medium kick, medium, sorry, medium kick, heavy punch, another target combo. Minus nine again. So anything that ends in heavy punch um, in the target combo, you can do line breaker. I'd probably offer chin buster just to be on the safe side. Give me a few more frames to play with. She's also got another one. Um, medium kick, heavy punch into a V skill, let's try that. Never really see that too often. That's minus 12, so Lion Breaker again then. That should be fine. Could get Stand Heavy Punch as well. Get the blocks done right. So yeah, you can punish that pretty hard as well if you um, go for crouching heavy punch. But again, you won't, I don't think you'll ever see that. 
just thrown out. So not really something major you should, you should focus on. A V skill roll, it says minus seven. Okay. I'd be inclined to do stamp medium punch, reason being, um, it's got better range, but if you're one frame out, it, they, you're not going to get the hit. You could do crouching medium punch, I guess. Ah. Unsure, go for your full frame into special. Um, but stamp medium punch looks pretty decent as well. If they hit it quite close, you can go for chin buster. It looks like chin buster whiffs if it hits a range. See there. So yeah, I would. I like that. So that's a good one for a V skill. We'll record a few and then we'll go through them. Light punch hands. We'll go for EX as well, we'll just put EX in there. EX Hailstorm, what's that? I don't know what this is, let's have a look. Oh, it must be a fireball. We'll go for the safest one, we'll go for... Light Punch, minus eight. It's weird. Forward, down, down, forward, light punch. Down. It's weird. It's got hailstorm and it's got light punch snowball. What's that? Is that? Oh, okay. So that's the projectile that comes out after you input the move. Is that right? Ah, okay. Okay, so yeah, snowball appears 50 frames after light punch hellstorm. That's fine. Oh, she's got different ones. She's got a light punch and medium punch. Light punch, heavy punch. Ah, that's interesting. Didn't know that. And then of course you've got EX. EX apparently is plus 26 on block. Mm. Okay, we'll test this out. So let's start from the hands. So the hands are, light punch hands are minus four, medium minus six, heavy minus nine, EX minus four. So what I would do there is I'd go from a four frame follow up or a four frame punish every time. I think there is a space you can space it and make it relatively safe. So what they'll do is, is they'll space it so your light kick will whiff or they'll be able to block it. And they'll input the counter after they do the, the hands. So your four frame punish sometimes doesn't work. So when you punish hands, you just gotta make sure you hit the four frame when you think you're in the right spacing. If you're not, don't go for it. So like, there, so it whips. Man, my timing got. Hmm. 
So what it is, the block stun ends quicker than you expect. That's why it's quite hard to punish. So you got to practice that. But yeah, it's um, four frame punish. I think is best um, when the spacing's close enough. So the same with that four frame. It's weird, man. If I mash it, it's fine. It's one of those moves where unusual blocks them. Fuck it up. So yeah, four frame there, but you have to work on the timing on that one. That's actually more difficult than it should be. At that range, the old... It's not a great range. Look at that. I'm not happy about this. It's definitely minus four. Don't know, I'm not sure why it's so hard to punish, but yeah, just be cautious of that. I don't know why it's so hard to punish. It shouldn't be that difficult, but clearly it's harder than it should be. So to practice the timer on that punish specifically, get the muscle memory down, and then you should be good. But yeah, don't try and do it on the fly in a match because you get it crush countered or heavily punished. It's really strange that I've never had no move in the game that give me so much problems for punishing. It should be straightforward. Minus four, job done, but okay, whatever. So this move, it's weird, it's a projectile. But the hand hits you first and then the ice afterwards. So she's it's minus eight. So close you can get Chimbuster to punish. It's minus eight, mini punch minus eleven, heavy punch version is minus eleven as well. The is fine and when you hit them, the, the ice disappears anyway, so I'm gonna worry about that. What I want to show you is if they do it at range you can punish during the animation. Same with the x -tatsu. You got underneath the ice, the ice cube, the ice cube, <laughs> the ball of ice, the snowball, um, to attack them. So you can sometimes see them that they're gonna use it. Or if they do just right at raw, don't be afraid to punish them with, um, if they do that. Um, that works with all of them. We'll do the EX one as well. So the EX1 is plus, call that here. Can't see how it's plus, but whatever. So let's check that out. How is that plus? Oh, sorry, it's the EX, EX snowball. So the snowballs themselves are plus. It doesn't have the frame data for the actual EX startup of the hailstorm, which is unusual. So I don't know what the frame data is for this one. Okay, so we know it's not, it's not minus nine. Yeah, it's, mi it's minus eight, so Chin Buster again there. In exactly the same fashion, you can punish that. If they do, if they do it raw. Yeah, 
you can't punish it, so don't be afraid to do that. Right, okay, I'll record the next batch and then we'll carry on. Okay guys, so we've got the, the dash punches and dash shenanigans now. So this one is the dash punch. This is um, dash into, I think it's light punch you use. This is minus 12 on block. So line break is pretty good there. Minus 12, plenty of time to punish that. Uh, there's some usual sequences I've not seen before. Quarter circle back and medium kick. That's the, that's the dash thing into down light kick, down heavy kick, that's minus 12, that's basically a sweep, she ends in a sweep, that's this one. So, I've never seen that before, but that's minus 12, so line breaker again is fine there. She's got dash into light, crouching light kick, crouching heavy punch, it's minus 8, that's the next one. So minus eight, you could die break that as well. Looks like Chin Bus is not good there for that one. So I'll probably go for four, a full frame or something. Okay, yes, so I'll put this, this one's not punishable, I wanted to put it in just to let you know that it's not punishable, it's minus two. If she does the dash into down medium punch, then heavy punch, it's minus two, so don't try and go for a crazy punish here. That's not punishable, minus two, so you can take your turn back, but don't try and, don't try any business like that, it's not going to work. So I would probably do a back medium punch there, maybe. No, I wouldn't do a bad mini punch. I'll probably just check it with a, with a full frame. Um, maybe full frame into X firewall in case they press, press a button. You could do that. So if they press a the button there, they're going to get hit. Um, just for awareness, that one. And the last one is her EX dash punch, which is minus nine. So line breaker should be good here as well. You can time it right which I can't seem to do. Mm. Her block stun's weird. All right, for that one, chin buster. So what's, <laughs> this is interesting. So this one's minus nine, but if it hits later in the animation, she's actually more safe on, on block. So I would do back medium punch. And if you're good, if you're good enough, I'd confirm on hit the back medium punch and heavy punch. So don't order autopilot chin buster. Try and confirm it because that's a bit awkward to space. Again, it's, it's a spacing dependent punish. Um, let's try one thing. So you could do that. That's Ken's quickest point blank punish. It's not punishable, um, like it attacks you into V trigger. But if they're not point, they're not face to face with you. That's not a good thing to use. Um, so just it, all it tells me is that her, she can space it to make it safe. So be careful with the X. So um, you could use. Yeah, you could use that confirm as well to decide whether she's in punishable range or not. But you need something to buy your time to see if the 
see if she's in range to be hit, and if she does get hit, then you can confirm. So the back medium punch would be, you confirm off the one hit. That's all I would have, yeah, would have carried on there. Oops. And then if you're not sure, stop there. So yeah, you've, you've got to focus on that. You've got to you've got to one hit confirm. So that's a, that's a bit crap because I, I was hoping that would be a free punch, but clearly, clearly it's not. Um, the last one we need to record for Colleen is her CA, which is minus thirty-seven. That's very punishable. That's really fine. Um, it's worth noting her V-Trigger, um, they're both plus on block, so we haven't got to worry about her V-Trigger. Basically know that she's on the first one she's plus 32, on the second one she's plus 26. On hit it's a knockdown, so there's nothing you can do to punish that at all, so we don't even need to worry about her V-Trigger. But yeah, her CA, let's have a look at that now. That's your, big, that's your biggest um, V-Trigger punish, if you're not in V-Trigger. Um, oops. That'll do a lot of damage. Um, it's you. There's various ways to punish it. If you want to buy more time to confirm to CA, you could do. That's probably what I'd go for. Just gives you more time to do the light punch DP into CA. But yeah, that'll do. So that's pretty much um, clean covered and all her, all her stuff. Um, there's one thing I wanted to go back to actually. Oh, she's got the double jump, so yes, yeah, there's a double jump she has, and wait, there's one more thing. Oh, that was the other counter, so I go back. Oh, I've not, I've not covered all this, have I? That's a V skill. Okay, cool. Okay, so she has, these, this is what I haven't recorded. Done that, done that. So I'm gonna go up a mid, so it's a, a mid 90X and light punch, heavy punch. Okay, cool, so I think this is what they wake up with. So let's go, have I just recorded obviously the wrong one? Let's, let's see what happens. Okay, so that's... 
she's not countable on her V skill if she if she's in process of throwing the hit out. You know, you know, like when you do when you do Ken's V skill, he if you get hit during the V skill the run, you're in a counted state. It doesn't look like she's in a counted state during her V skill. So that's fine. Just wanted to test that before I went. See with this, you can kind of. She's very punishable when she does this. So if you get a read on her when she's gonna jump and do a double jump, if she goes over your head, you can you can easily time a cross cut DP. You can easily time a crouching heavy punch. Just watch out for the ice shard that she drops. So you'd normally anti air there, but she double jumps. So it's a case of just waiting patiently. The cross cut there. He can jump back and catch her. So it's, it's just awareness really, you can punish her for doing that. The only place to worry about it is like that. If she's that close and you're near the ice shard, if Kevin doesn't fall on your head. But there are ways to tackle that as well. She's in the air for a long time, so you can punish it. You probably dash forward and DP a bit as well. She doesn't even hit the ground, you can dash forward, do heavy punch DP. So there's ways to tackle that, so don't let that cause you problems. Um, what was this one? So yeah, so this move on wake up, if you bait it out. She's in a crush counter hit state, so if, against Kaleem, Meaties are very good, but if they spot that you're doing a lot of meaties, they're going to wake up with um, with the counter. Um, the way to blow that up, so that's a, that's a mid counter. So you can see there, the low is beating it. If I do... Um, And the height, the air attack speed in it as well. So it's mainly you're mainly looking at this from a, a meaty um, Oki setup. So if you're trying to set Oki, mix up the meaties with throws. So do meaty throws, do meaty normals, and try to bait it out as well. If you think if you've done a, if, in a match, say if you've done a few meaties and they haven't reversed you, expect the reverse to come. So if you back off a little bit, try and bait it out. You're gonna get a free crush counter then. Same goes for the X. Crush counter. So it's mainly the wake up game for um, for Kaleem. Just try to get a read on their options. If they do straight away from the get go, then they will probably expect you to throw on the next occasion because, uh, let me think, because yeah, you're not going to use a meaty again because the new meaty got blown up, if you know what I'm saying. And also, I'll take note of the fact that against um, Kaleem, she's got to choose between the low or the low counter and the mid counter. So like then I was showing you, if she does a mid counter um, on her wake up, if you use a low, a meaty low attack, like the crash and light kick, um, it's not gonna work versus the mid counter. So if you mix up high um, mid and low meaties with throws and baits, her wake up game is even weaker. So definitely consider that guys. So yeah, that's clean, pretty much covered, guys. Hopefully that's helped. Um, like in all the previous videos, just let me know if you have any better advice or advice not covered for the matchup. And um, yeah, hopefully it's helped. So cool. Uh, I'll catch you next one. Cheers. Take care.